No, I'm ready to start whenever. Yeah. And if there's no video, that's fine. <laughs> yep, we'll just have to use. Must have cast theme. magical darkness. And... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's rolled twenty's fault. Yep. Clearly. At all? Who is at all? All right. Pardon me. I have a, uh, a chip in my mouth here. Um. <clears throat> Guess I'm just gonna eat this chip on camera. This is like the most crunchy chip ever. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> All right, that's why you have salsa. It softens those up. I had yeah, a really good hot salsa during the break too. Um, all right, so we have Norlai, Norlai, and Bright are given a promissory note by a magical proprietor uh, that is also uh, telling you, "Hey, I have a connection. Uh, I'm asking you to wait for a day. Uh, there's some, you know, there's a, a large amount of gold uh, or equivalent at stake, uh, possible job." And so here, uh, you can share my name to the proprietor of the Tumbled Wench if you need a place to stay. Um, and until then, you wanted to go and explore a park. Hey, what, what was his name, anyway? Um... Uh, Just th you um, one, did you? Thursat. Sat. Okay. Thursat. Okay. That was the name of one of my professors. That's probably why I trust this guy so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I don't have a park image, but you can imagine it's a okay. nice lake lakeside community does have some very nice public parks. Okay, well, um, yeah, the checking out the park, and I think we before we turn in for the night or, or go in for dinner at the Tumbled Wench, I think we should go over to the docks and see about booking, see what see what the options are as far as sailing down the river to Westport. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there is, I guess, like, whatever, third class steerage, uh, where you're given a place that you can sit, and you're get, you, uh, it'll afford you, you know, basic meals and drinks, uh, to go down river. It'll only take, uh, I think it'll only take, a a couple days by river here. Yeah, we're talking maybe a day and a half by river, uh, in order to get to... Uh, from Lake Right Eye to. Um, we also uh, have to Mask consider Forms. that we have a donkey to take with us. Oh, that's true. You do have a. Uh, so you, you're going to need uh, uh, more of a ferry service than just passenger. Mm -hmm. um, th there's going to be plenty of boats that are going to be able to, to accommodate that. You're not the only person who's uh, hauling, um, who's hauling ass in order to get there. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I <laughs> think. <laughs> We would like to see if we can get um, a room that we can share on the boat, rather than having to sleep in a common area. Okay, so yeah, there's uh, more of the, um, you know, more of that. You're, you're a passenger, but it's not first class. Uh, and then, of course, you have uh, you have uh, very good first class accommodations uh, that if you want, you know, three meals a day, and you want a more a bigger area, maybe even one with a little. A little uh, porthole that looks outside. Um, no, I don't think we need first class. We just need a bunk that's just ours, and it doesn't even have to be big, because neither of us is very big, especially me. Okay. Um. For a bunk like that, and accommodating a donkey, and uh, some other animals, as well. Um, we're going to say that the total will be 12 gold for the trip. Okay, I think we can afford that. <laughs> the... If you wish to buy a uh, passage on it, uh, the ship makes a... Let's see, if it takes a day and a half, restock, come back. Uh, so it, it's on about uh, every... Every three-day cycle, because they probably uh, wait in port and load up and, and do this. So, uh, this one is going to be leaving. Um, it probably takes them longer to come back than it does to head out. So. Yeah, yeah, because they have to go up river. Uh, so this is this one's going to be leaving in three days. If you want to, if you want to book passage on it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's perfect. I mean, that'll give us enough time to to do that.
to do what you cut out? It'll give us enough time to do the, the thing for the wizard. You know, for Thursat. He wants me to, to do some stuff. Now, as for the park... Um, yeah, I mean, we, we can go there, too. There's, I mean, interesting little decorations and architecture. Now, a lot of kids playing. Um, you know, there's some there's some people who are enjoying a, uh, a, a bright, sunshiny uh, spring day in the park. Uh, young lovers taking a stroll or, um, you know, uh, dipping behind a, a bush or a tree or something. Uh, this is a very libertine sort of town. And, um, you know, dogs uh, here and there, birds are chirping. It's a, it, this is actually just a very energetic, uh, upbeat area. I would like to cast Detect Magic in the park. Sure. Um... There's, there's nothing that you haven't already experienced before. Uh, some people are wearing little magical trinkets, um, and there's uh, there's a couple wardings uh, on some of the trees and some of the architecture. Uh, but you're not detecting anything like a teleportation circle or you know that's hidden under the grass or the like. Oh yeah, graffiti word. They had that at the at the magic school. <laughs> Okay, um, I was I was hoping there'd be a teleportation circle, but um, a nice park. Um, like Peggy Sue to appear, um, and I would like her to go up high and take a look at the park from above and she see if she sees any unusual gatherings of people uh, or any like weird symbols that are only visible from the air. Sure. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception at advantage. It's a nice clear day. She has some height. 16. Oh, 16. Um, yeah, um, so she flies up and you're doing some aerial reconnaissance. Um, how are this manifests? I don't know if it like your eyes roll back and it broadcasts into your brain or, or, uh, how this is looking here. Um, uh, Peggy Sue does see... Uh, and uh, a bit of an amorous couple uh, that, uh, that, well, they're hidden, except, you know, when people are flying drones uh, around and, and taking a look around. She's not a drone. She's a familiar. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, and and so the uh, one of the gentlemen, uh, or the, the, not one of the gentlemen, like the gentleman, um, ends up uh, taking off. Uh, he seems to kind of, like, right his collar. Um, and, uh... uh no, I don't see that. That's blurred out for me. And it's oh. because it's a PG-rated stream, and I'm a G-rated character. So... <laughs> oh, you're... We're, we're, I, I'm willing to go PG-13 here, but sure. Uh, we're, we'll, we'll Sims this. Everything right, kind of... I said I'm out. <laughs> I just see some things. Rip. Um, and the, uh... The, the lady is kind of laid out, and uh, she she's not moving. She's kind of like uh, like laid back. Her hair's in a bit of a tussle. Uh, one of her arms is up above her head. Um, like is she just not moving, or is she like not moving? She, she's not moving. See, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna deploy. It's or very magic? PG. Like her, her skirts are in their places. Um, you know her, her. Uh, uh, you Can know. I take her... a closer look. Okay. Uh, examining with your arcane eye, she appears to be. Mm, I would like Peggy Sue to keep an eye on the on the man. Make a medicine check also with this. Okay. Medicine's not very good. I've been bad at that this whole game. A seven or an eight. She might be dead, or she's in like a very big um like a, a stupor of some kind. He's a vampire now. Uh where where did the guy go? Did Peggy Sue see where he went? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm reading our, our D20 chat here. Um, uh, she does, by the way, uh, she looks very pale. 
and she does have uh, two holes in her neck. Um, yeah, there sure. you go, Norlai. Yeah. That's more like it. Um, <laughs> and uh, and I'm, I'm sorry, you, you wanted Peggy Sue to, to trail the dude? Okay. Uh, you... So she is out of your 100-foot range to share vision. I mean, I think you're doing it with your arcane eye anyway. Uh, but how do you want to, to how do you want to handle this this tracking? Um, Norlai, um, what he said. There's, I found a a person that a vampire just ate, and the vampire's running away, and he's going, uh, whichever way he's going. Um, and I think, I mean, we need we need to do everything at once. We need to catch the vampire, and we also. Um, we need to see what happened to this woman, and we need to do those things, and I'm gonna need your help. Um, um, that, okay, that, that's a lot to take in all of a sudden, you were just sitting there for a while. Um, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what, which, which part do you want to do? Uh, uh, which, which um, what, what are hey. the options? We have to chase down the vampire, and we also have to save this woman, um, because remember when Mordecai died, he came back right away, and she's going to be in trouble, and we might be able to save her, or at least stop her from turning bad, like we did with Mordecai, if we can get to her fast enough. Um, uh, okay, I'm uh, following the vampire. You take care of her. Bye. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, wh where is she? Kiss fly on myself, and I'm away. Okay, uh, bright direction, away. Piggy Sue in. And you're going after the vampire. She's over there! She's <laughs> over there! Alright. Okay. Let's do something that's presumably easier, but we'll see. Uh, Norlai, uh, you, you get a she's over there, and uh, Bright points to a, a cluster of uh, various bushes. And apparently there's an unconscious, dying, or dead woman uh, that you are now tasked to save. Because it doesn't look like anyone else is paying attention. Um... Uh, it is daytime too. Also, I cast Mage Armor while I'm flying. Okay. That's definitely a thing I'm gonna need. You got Iron Man going on over here. Iron Gnome. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call for help. Sure. Uh, this woman's, I think this woman's hurt. Okay. Uh, Very so loud. You're, you're going over and you're, help, help. She needs, uh, Norlai, make a, uh, I don't know, performance or persuasion. Uh, your choice. Let's do persuasion. Yes, a 21. That is a 21 persuasion. Okay, um... Let's see. A... Um, a human, uh, a human girl about your age, and, and this young lady is probably a little bit older than you, um, Norlai, runs over. Um... Oh, Charisse, you found her! What, what happened? Uh, did, did she trip and fall? What... And, uh, and so s someone ran over, apparently, as her friend. Um, um, my, my friend said someone at attacked her, and sh she ran after the girl, the, the person they said attacked her. Um, and I, d I don't know what happened. Oh, uh, um, 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 I, I think you're supposed to put, I think you're supposed to put pressure on the wound. Uh, wrap your, wrap your hands around her neck and squeeze. Uh, I, I, no, I, I would not. Want to do that? I I don't um, oh, I, I don't know what to do. If only we had a healing potion. Um. Checking. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll tell you what I um. Oh here, and she kind of like tears at her uh, she tears at her skirt. Uh, it's like maybe we can maybe we can use this as a bandage. Um, hold her head, and and I'll I'll tie this around her neck. Uh, probably, probably just press it to the one side. Uh, but you're, oh, this isn't a tourniquet? Uh, I, I don't know what that word is, so, um, 
Uh, hold, hold her head. You you just pr press it lightly on the, on the wound there. Uh, all right. Finger friends in them. <laughs> uh -huh. The um um um. There's there's more blood. I uh uh. Bu 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 uh, and she's in like the blood is soaking through, and uh and her friend is. Uh, her friend sort of like. I'm not. I'm not. And uh, with uh, I, for everyone out there, I rolled a three on on this medicine roll. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, is, is she dead? She is she dead? Uh, I think you killed her. You, you're the one who, who did the thing. I'm the one? I, I was doing what you told me. Well, I'm not a doctor. I just called for help. I, I, and if she's I my doctor, friend. And suddenly we're getting into a squabble over. <laughs> <laughs> I need a cleric. Cleric. Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> Sorry, the doctor is out. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Um. Okay. Um. You call once more. Uh, go ahead and make another uh, persuasion or performance, but this one's gonna be straight up. Uh. Uh, all right. Uh, so uh, um, uh, a tiefling uh, dressed in, in fairly nice clothes uh, comes running over. What, what seems to be the problem? Oh, what has happened? Oh, that poor girl. Uh, move, move away, you two. Move. And he uh, he examines uh, another one. Oh, let's see what I can do. Uh, he holds his hand to the neck wound, and uh, and there's a little bit of a glow, uh, even in the daylight here, and. Uh, I, th I think it worked. I'm, I'm not sure. He uh, he leans down and uh, places his ear to her chest. I don't think that... And she pff, sits bolt upright. Uh, are, are, you, are you okay, Ness? And looks around frantically. Just... What? 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 And and she looks, and you can see that uh, uh, you can see that uh, she's getting uh, she's getting like a reaction to the 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 daytime sun on her skin, and her eyes are kind of turning red. Oh. What is this? Why do I feel this way? I I just uh, I just wanted a little bit of fun and. No, no, calm down. The man says we need to get sh we need to get some help. Uh, do either of you know her? And the one, yes, I, I'm her friend. Then come uh, with uh, me. Uh, we'll we'll take her to the, the clinic. Uh, who are you? He looks at you, Norlai. Uh, I, I was just at the park. My friend saw some someone uh, like attack her, and she uh, she ran after the the guy. And I, I was just trying to help. Ah, uh, scoundrels! This is why we have brothels in this city. So this doesn't happen. Uh, all right. Well, I don't know. Do something. Find your friend. Uh, you there, and he's talking to, to the, the friend now. Come with me. We're, we have to get her to a clinic and, and see just what is happening. And the uh, the two girls and the man run off. You could follow them. They're not stopping you. Or you could try and find Bright, or you could do whatever you'd like. You could buy a house and live here peacefully for the rest uh. of the days. <laughs> I would like to summon Fenry, Fenry, and uh, have him track right for me. Manix dog. Okay. So <laughs> this is going to be your first time using this it item. Is. Um, I would like you to describe your interaction with it. Okay. She's gonna take it out of pocket. Well, then hands look at him and says... D describe for the audience what it is. I know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, okay, so Norlai had received a Onyx dog. Uh, Bright kind of described what it would happen. Uh, basically, it would, it'll it summon a uh, a dog for her um, that'll last, like, 
a few hours once a week, and she hasn't had a chance to use it yet. So she pulls them out of her pocket, puts it in her hand, looks at them, and says, okay, boy, if you got to help me find Bright. Uh, you know, you, you should know what it, she smells like. If you don't, uh, you know, she was sitting right there. You can smell that, and we'll find her. And um, she's going to pet his hair and say, you're a really good boy. And she's going to set him down. You might be muted on the stream. Whoops, sorry about that, everyone. Uh, so it has a collar uh, that you can see kind of underneath the, the fuzz as it expands and turns into a, a real boy. And it does have uh, colorations of red and black in a, in a familiar pattern. Uh, however, as, uh, as you talk to it, you're pretty confident that it listened to you. And it goes dashing off. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't just Run turning. It just wasn't turning in circles like I was doing to it. <laughs> Following him. Sure. Okay, so it's uh, it's dashing, it's sniffing. Uh, we're going to cut ahead then to Bright, who is uh, trying to fly and, and track this uh, ne'er-do-well uh, through the streets. The, or the, the, the port alleys and such of Lake Right Eye. Uh, give me a perception, Bright. Muted. Haha. <laughs> okay, now I'm not muted. <laughs> so my, my strategy was to tell Piggy Sue to follow the vampire in the hopes that I can at least see where Piggy Sue went because she can fly and she's been going to be up in the air. Um, mm -hmm. And then I'll follow her. And then whenever we make a, a change in our direction, I'm going to put a minor illusion up in the air that's a big arrow that points to the direction that we're going next. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, and yeah, Karai, uh, there was a... I, I clicked on a... I clicked on a thing I shouldn't have clicked on, and it muted me, so. Um, all right, so you want to throw some minor illusions up uh, as you're flying along. Um, okay. Uh, so uh, give me, uh, still give me a perception. Hey, my perception or Peggy Sue's? Uh, Peggy Sue's first, because she's tracking. 16. Ooh, 16, that's pretty good. Um, all right, and now... Uh, she's she's keeping up with the uh, with the ne'er do well. Uh, you're not in the hundred foot range just yet, uh, so you're having to try and find Peggy Sue. She is a flying creature. She is tiny, though, if I recall. Uh, so That's correct. It, it'll be a, a little difficult unless you have. Uh, is a part of this like a, a magical honing or, or homing device or anything oh. along those lines? Um, I don't have I don't have magical homing. Uh, let me show you the text of Find Familiar, sure. just so we are all on the same page. Yep. Um, it pretty much I mean it it uh, I I don't think I have any ability except I could recall her if I need to, and she could tell me where where she was when I recalled her. Oh, but you. I don't think I have any other thing I can do at long range. Sure. All right. So because I I only you. have telepathy within a hundred feet. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a perception at disadvantage, then. Okay. Six. Okay. Uh, Peggy Sue is uh, is lost in the in the in the bright sky. Um, I guess no pun intended here. Uh, with with all the shimmering of the water and such, uh, and, and the hover balloon down below. Uh, there are people who are watching this very brightly haired gnome just kind of like soaring overhead. Um, uh, and... I'm not really laying low right now. <laughs> just, yeah, <laughs> very bright. Your, your, your two pigtails are just like streaming alongside of you, like like little uh, little pink booster rockets or something. 
Um, and so you've you've lost Peggy Sue, although Peggy Sue presumably hasn't lost uh, her quarry. Um, so go ahead, and uh, a little bit of time is going to pass here. Make another uh, make another roll for Peggy Sue at advantage because she's she's pretty well locked on target. Ooh, twenty one. Crit. Uh, so yeah, she is. Um, she's staying up with him. And, uh, and so really it's just going to be uh, a matter of you now, Bright, uh, trying to, uh, trying to find your way to Peggy Sue. Uh, so now let's, uh, you can throw up a sign and you can try and use this as a, uh, as a deduction. Uh, I'll allow for either an investigation or a survival, your choice, in order to try and, uh, to find clues to track down the direction that Peggy Sue went. So, um, we had talked about agencies, um, and I was doing a thing that would give me investigation, but I guess that hasn't actually taken effect yet, right? Not yet, no. Uh, okay. I, I will get you there, but we haven't gone through... Check. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna roll investigation for it's gonna look like nature. Okay, gotcha. Okay, um, so you, you you stop and you know your your mind is is worrying as it should. I mean you're you're a, a smart cookie, and looking around, uh, you see that there's some people on the ground who are are looking up above. I mean they see you, um, and and there's others who are just sort of like looking around a corner and and, and peering around, uh, and perhaps by interacting with folks who are out on this sunny day. Uh, maybe it, it's slower, but other people could have seen Peggy Sue in the direction that she uh, zoomed off in. And of course, you're very noticeable. Um, and people also aren't running in terror from you, so presumably they're comfortable seeing a, a bright pink gnome flying overhead. Uh, yeah. so, so you might be able to, to ask them and follow their directions. Um, yeah, did you see either um, a flying tiny alicorn or uh, a guy who seemed to be running away from it? going through this area? Uh, taking your time asking these questions, yes, you, you can put together... Oh, uh, Z I, I don't know what that is, but I saw something. I Maybe it was like a flying cat, but I don't know. It was, it was kind of weird. Uh, it's little. Um, it's little and cute. It's actually an alicorn, which is like a unicorn, except it can fly. And a unicorn, unicorn is like a horse, except it has a horn. Oh, and a horse right? is kind of like a cat, except it's not really very much like a cat. Well, I'll, I'll be darned. You don't see that you're you're having this conversation. <laughs> you're like hovering above this person because you, what, you, you fly for ten minutes, right? Yeah, ten minutes. Okay. Yeah, I mean you're having this kind of like, oh well, that that's really neat. And uh, you know, hey, yeah. don't don't put yourself down. You're pretty cute yourself. Yeah. I know it's true. I'm I'm adorable, but I'm also kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, yeah, Because yeah, I really yeah, need yeah. to find that guy before he gets away. Yeah. Uh, it looked like he was flying over, and he tells you like that. There's a, uh, you know, a Did couple you streets he was flying? and. No, oh, the, the the little thing was, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, that, that that's what I saw. I was flying over the uh, over that one house over there. Okay, thanks. I'll be. Uh, um, I toss a gold piece. Oh, oh, hey. Whew. Oh, you don't see that every day. <laughs> hey, poof! I keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So you, you you send a signal flare of minor illusion up. Uh, and so you, you're, you're encountering this and a lot of people are like, oh, so that's what it is. Oh, and aren't you just like this fun little cutie? Um, you know, it, 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 it's all meant in, in good humor because there's just not a lot of you folks out here. So you're getting, you know, boys and girls like, oh yeah, you saw the thing too. You want the flying cat? I want a flying cat when I grow up. Um, uh, however, you are led, uh, towards the end of your spell here. Um, you, uh, you come into psychic contact once more with, uh, uh, with your familiar. Uh, who is perched outside of a big old warehouse. And um, presumably this is where the, the vampire went into. Um, I'm so glad I found you. I wish we had been able to catch him on the, on the road. I don't know. It's too bad. He must be able to run really fast. Uh, but um, I guess uh, thank you so much for being such a good a good familiar nuzzle and for following the yay it's a uh, careful careful with the horn it's nope. pokey okay ah. um i'm gonna need you to see if you well first i guess are there any windows or anything i can see through um 
Yeah, well, I don't know about see-through. There's some second-story windows, but they appear to be kind of, like, dirty and, and mucked up. Uh, you might be able to if you go up to them and kind of, you know, you, you put your face to the, the glass and kind of peer through. I would like to do that and see what I can see inside. Sure, perception at disadvantage. Okay. Uh, not Five. A <laughs> um, it's so sad. Okay, so you're looking through, and when you pull back, there's like an imp an impression of your face on the dust and the dirt on the outside of the window, and that's that's what you see. This is a pretty bad window. Are there any entrances or, or anything? Oh uh, yeah, there's some uh, there's some doors. In fact, there's some people like uh, there's workers here. It doesn't necessarily seem abandoned or ex especially decrepit. Oh. Um, but there are some people. I just are... assumed that vampires would go to an abandoned warehouse. I didn't realize it was active. <laughs> um, yeah, so there, there's some people there... outside uh, smoking pipes, and they seem to be chatting. Okay. Um, so, oh, oh, poo. I am going to go ahead and halfling eyes myself. Okay. <laughs> um. And this is my this is my uh, grizzled grizzled rogue halfling look, not my nondescript ha oh. uh, blending in halfling look. Was that the one from the the Trine Tiefling bar? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So a uh, a, a grizzled a grizzled male Tiefling uh, is walking up to the the guys outside smoking pipes uh, outside of the outside of the warehouse. Grizzled halfling. Grizzled, grizzled halfling. halfling. I'm sorry, grizzled halfling. Yes. Let's just a fling vein. <laughs> I'm I'm too small to do a Tiefling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd have to embiggen myself. <laughs> uh, and you wish to... Good oh, morning to you, Phyllis. Uh, oh. Well, uh... Did you just see a man running through here? Oh, I see a lot of men running. Uh, it depends. Where are they running to? What are they see running the one from? that me money. Oh, a lot of that. How much? Uh, and what game? <laughs> <laughs> you know the street craps. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I, I hope you catch the. I hope you catch the bandit. Uh, you should never something in on a for you. Yes, you can tell me where he went, and I'll uh, press to digitate a uh, handful of gold pieces. Oh. To show for a minute, and then I'll I'll palm them. Of course, they're just going to disappear. Yeah, yeah. Well. uh... If I saw a running man here, uh, uh, did you stop here just to talk to us, or uh, do you think that we're in on something? Uh, no, I'm not accusing you of nothing. I saw him run into this warehouse. Oh, there's someone who ran on a bet in this warehouse. Oh, no, we can't let that go. Can't say that I saw anyone run in here, but there's a, more than one entrance to this place. Uh, probably best to avoid us. Uh, I mean, look, considering we play silvers in the warehouse ourselves, uh... You know, we're men of honor. Ah. Uh, well, well uh, he's not as honorable. Uh, he ain't, no. Uh, I sure hope it's not one of our boys. We, we train them better than that. And by train, I mean we, we beat the tar out of them if they ever, uh, <laughs> if they ever go back on a bet. Hey, mm. well, that makes, sounds like you're going to help me out finding them then. Uh, that depends on the results of a persuasion at advantage. <laughs> Sorry, you cut out. Uh, a persuasion at advantage. Oh, okay. That I can do. Ooh. Have perception or per um proficiency in that one. Twelve? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose uh we could come off break a little early. Now this ain't official business and uh, you know, we we are used to getting paid here, so I'll tell you what, uh, if we help you find this lad, then uh maybe you can you can give us a little bit of the reward, huh? A problem. All right then. I'll show you everywhere you need to go in this warehouse. Let's go get the scoundrel and you and the Chip two, uh, you and the two burly Chip longshoremen. Uh, wait in. Uh, Norali. Uh, meanwhile, uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm I'm chasing after Fenry, looking for Bright. Okay, uh, Fenry, uh, go ahead and give me. Uh, give me a survival at advantage. Uh, if he has his own stats, this is going to be off of him. I don't have his stats. 
Uh, then, uh... Hang on, I'll just roll something. Uh, what's Fenry? Fenry... Master stats. But technically it's a wolf. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, all right, so you are getting this, uh, you're getting this Higante dog uh, that is just, uh, 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 is kind of yowling and, and tracking its way through the, the streets of uh, Lake Right Eye here. And uh, it's, there's all kinds of scents. Uh, it, it is getting distracted here and there because, I mean, there, there's everything. There's food, there's people, uh, there's food coming out of people, uh, and, uh, just all kinds of, uh, states of people and food here. Uh, the lake and the breeze and everything, and it, uh, it, it seems to, to stop and reorient itself. Like, it's, it's kind of looking around, shaking off something, uh, but it is still going, ur, ur, ur. and, uh, uh, let's do this one more time here. You're going in a direction. It seems confident to know where it's going, uh, following this thing. Uh, a lot of people seeing this uh, this very large dog uh, going through there are like, ah, you know, a monster, or ah, it's a big dog. Uh, someone call the dog warden. Um, Don't worry about that. It's mine. And uh, and and there's some, you know, there, there's some there's some boyfriends getting brownie points by like kind of putting themselves in between their their fair maiden and this uh this monstrous beast that's rampaging through town because that's of course how they're going to tell the story um and uh, a couple shopkeeps like no shoot get out of here get out of here uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. as it's uh as it's trying to track and sniff and uh it it seems to be onto something i mean this is the first time you pop this thing and it seems to be running in a direction with confidence as much as an animal ish type magical item thing can <laughs> um, you find yourself though you, you swear you've been around this corner of the block before though uh, it, it, it's been a little while uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sorry, I went to look at something. Interesting enough, he can see invisibility. <laughs> oh, he can also talk. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to shake off the <laughs> sleeps. Okay. Do you see him anywhere? Uh, this, play, this area looks familiar, but I haven't been here before, so... Uh, or have I? Um... Hmm. Uh, you, you've been around here before because uh, the, the same shopkeep comes out like, oh, get that beastie out of here. Come on, go, move along, move along. Oh, darn. We, we've gone in a second. Unless that guy has a twin brother in a twin store. But that's not very likely. Uh, how long does the, uh, the doggo stay in this state? Uh, he is the doggo for hours eight hours do you have it as Six an ability hours. that you can pop into chat I I do not okay I, I, I have a copy paste Up to six hours. Okay. Yeah. Six hours once a week. Um, it looks at you and it speaks common. <laughs> uh, as you're interacting with it, it kind of shakes its head, uh, coming into coming back into its own here. Uh, is it? It perks an ear up and is listening to you. <clears throat> well, am I? 
I did not realize you would speak. Actually, that's kind of cool. Oh, you can speak. Oh. I'm going to pet him. Of course I can speak. What do you take me for? You're a good boy, aren't you? I'm saying around and come on up. I... <laughs> yes, I am a good boy. Um, okay. Um, alright. So we're in, um, Lake Rida. Is that it? We're in Lake Rida. And, um, we're looking for Bright. And I think you got a little mixed up. Uh, real quick here, we were just raided uh, by Adrian uh, Adriana of Earth. Thank you so much for uh, for uh, raiding us here. You have uh, with twenty five others. Oh my goodness, uh, raid! Yeah, hey, let's uh, let's share some uh, let's share some uh, some hype and some enjoyment uh, with everyone. So uh, spam remotes if you got them, everyone. Oh, hey, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we are. Uh, no, uh, we're in the final forty-ish minutes of uh, of tonight's session, and then depending on talk. how many of you want to stick around after that, we're gonna play some party games until uh, Lethality Complex goes live with his group, and uh, and they do a weekly one shot as well. So, uh, well, welcome. I cannot everybody. provide hype because I am busy playing with my actual dogs. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> you have you have my vocal hype for the for the raid. <laughs> Thank you, and, and welcome all to uh, to our our humble little uh, abode where we're putting on our. Our fun story. Um, uh, so the this uh, this dog that you had summoned out of the statue, Wake White Eye, I haven't heard of that. Uh, well, it's it's, it's not that well known. Uh, it's on the top part of the eye, but you know, a lot of people like go through here for like trades and such. Um, I've only been here really once on my way out, um, because I was looking for my brother, and we're here now. I don't really know everything though. I was only here for like, for, like a few hours. Um, but yeah. The, the uh, people. The, by the way, you you stopped and you're having a conversation with this wolf. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the people in the street are just gazing at you too. I mean, maybe you're not aware of it because you're having a conversation with the wolf. And how cool is that? Uh, <laughs> but everyone on the streets here of Lake Right Eye is just sort of stopping for this moment. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're still looking for Bright. Do, uh, do you still have a scent? Yes, Bright. That's what I said, Bright. Yes, Bright. <laughs> this is weird. Uh, yeah, I'll, I, I can I can help you find Bright. Uh, can you describe her to me? Uh, she's about this tall. And she has pink hair, and is a gnome. And uh, she she has a pink dress, and the dress goes down there. It has flowers on it. And you were tracking her because you smelled where she was sitting. Do you have something else I can smell? Um. Uh, There's a lot of other smells going on right now. By the way, everyone, thank you for the follows. Uh, for those of you who came over. Hmm. Uh, Adriana, I, uh, what, what were you doing before here? And if you want to put a link over to your channel, um, I'll be happy to, to go over and reciprocate. Would that, like, gum fruit work? Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one of those little gum fruit thingies I got, and I'm gonna have him <laughs> smell that. Um, this, this might smell like her, I don't know. <laughs> we got it from a nose. It opens so it its mouth. Like no, don't eat it. You gotta smell it. I know it looks like a treat. But I have big, better treats later. Smells weird. Yeah, it does. It, it also, like, it, it, it's really weird to eat. You shouldn't eat it. Probably bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> what a situation we found ourselves in. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. <laughs> I'll tell you what here. Um, with Nora lying in the middle of the street here talking to a, uh, a dog with an odd common accent um, uh, here. And then, of course, we have Bright, who is now turned into a grizzled... Uh, whoops. Oh, hang on. I have a... There we go. 
I had an echo I think going it's on. Too. Uh, so yes, we uh, will. What we'll do is we'll, we're going to cut over to our folks on the airship. Uh, meanwhile, in Islandia, as you're getting ready, bright to raid this warehouse uh, with the boys, uh, who aren't going to tolerate someone who's uh, who's uh, reneged on a bet, uh, and of course they're going to get a cut of it. Uh, so you promised. And uh, uh, we're going to have to resolve that later. That's for sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Norali talking to a, a summoned uh, a summoned wolf uh, who speaks uh, with an odd an odd accent. Uh, so while this is happening on down in uh, in, Mesot- in uh, Mesomasca here, um, we actually are going to go uh, even a, uh, much to the north and to the east uh, into uh, into. Aslandia. Uh, so this is where we're at. You'd have to watch the stream to see this, but uh, this is where we're at. And meanwhile, somewhere in the big yellow patch up yonder, let's go back over to our captured party members uh, who are being uh, sort of treated as a guest uh, slash interrogated slash they're trying to decide what the uh, what the heck they're going to do with you. Um... Now, for you all, uh, the sun is setting on the desert. Uh, Mordecai, you are you're finding some relief, and uh, you can see that uh, the uh, one of the ships has already landed and uh, broke out some supplies for tents and, and other camping uh, means as the as this hundred-ish soldier contingent uh, is setting up a camp in the desert. Uh, you're still on this maybe command ship. You haven't seen. Uh, Commander Willie, uh, just yet, uh, but uh, you've uh, you've had the opportunity to to sit and to talk. Uh, you have been given water, and you've been given uh, some basic provisions uh, as you need them. Um, and Selter, you you took a tour. Uh, they're not going to take you into all the intricacies, but you have you know things that you might normally be able to see from the deck uh, are things that they would have taken you past. Uh, now, and you're also muzzled too. Uh, but we can presume that unless you somehow want to stay in the muzzle, uh, they have unleashed you and have returned you back to Mordecai and to Selene. Oh, ain't that just fantastic. In the meantime, I'd have been looking on the deck for a copper wire. Uh, sure. There's, um, I mean, for whatever you consider a wire to be, there are metallic components. Uh, maybe copper? Uh, copper is a, you know, it, it is a, a metal that rusts and it is rather weak. So you're probably not finding just a, a stray piece of that around somewhere. Um, but if you if you would like to do this as a sort of a long term over the hours, uh, yeah, you're you're gonna have to you're gonna have to stand up and move around. I'll have done that. If you want me to do some kind of save for it, I can do that too. Uh, let's make a, uh, make a charisma save as you try and, and bolster your, your own, uh, your own, own courage. courage. Yeah. Oh, no. A seven. Um, and That's by the way, for botch. all of you who are new here, Mordecai is, uh, the party bard. Uh, <laughs> who rolled a one on the charisma save. But, uh, you know, <laughs> this is a role-playing opportunity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. So, Mordecai, you stand up and you're going to be a big boy, and you're going to you're going to get up and and you know take action, and just it hits you, and it, maybe you you look over the edge, like you, you you pumped yourself up to this point. You stand up, uh, you know you're you're discreetly looking at the railing. Uh, you're like, oh, wire, gotta gotta find something along those lines here, um, and just it, it's not nausea because you don't really feel that in your current condition. Um, but some kind of internal mechanism grasps you and it plops you back down, uh, where you're at. And, uh, we'll, uh, oh boy. yeah. <laughs> oh uh, boy. You, you feel kind of, uh, Get dizzy. kind of dizzy. Uh, and, and there's just this survival instinct inside of you that is, uh, that is just gnawing to get out, you know, to, to make things right in order to get you on the ground, in order to keep you going. And, uh, I am going to need you to make a, 
Uh, a constitution saving throw, please. Goodness. Oh, I passed that. Ooh, all right. So the bard, <laughs> the bard epically fails charisma, but that's fine. You, you, uh, so uh, Mordecai, uh, you know, you're here. You're, you have that, that glow, that crackle um, in the sun, and you can feel it. You can feel that itch in your fangs. You can feel that hunger inside of you. <laughs> That, that thing that will make you stronger so you can do whatever you need to do to not have to worry, to not have to fear. And that hunger starts just burbling in your... Because, I mean, they haven't given you blood. They've offered you water. Uh, they've offered you bread and cheese. Um, and I don't know if you've asked for blood. Uh, you haven't explicitly said so. I haven't. Uh, and so, Mordecai, this, this hunger has... Uh, has uh, is taking hold, and so you just you're grabbing onto that railing, uh, and you know a couple of soldiers are going to come up and uh, are you are you going to be sick? I'm fine. Do you need water? No. All oh, right. Dear. If you need something, shout. I'm. You're not going to go over the railing, are you? No. All right. Don't do anything weird, though. And the guard's going to go back to his post watching over you all. As you're just there and you're... I, I mean, Mordecai, you're, you're, you're not bending the railing, but you're definitely, uh, like, you're squeezing. Uh, and as you're just trying to concentrate... I don't know, you sing a song or you think, uh, you, you tell me how you're handling this. You are able to suppress this hunger uh, that emerged from your panic. He is definitely going over the words he's going to say once he is able to cast Sending. Okay. And is definitely going to kind of like uh, kind of inch up to Celine be like, this is bad. <laughs> uh, Celine, you can. What do the, the Mordecai does have a, a tangible. Well, I mean, it's not a mechanical tangible, but Mordecai is in is in a state. You can just sense. Um. Oh, there's there only one or two animals out here. There's only one or two things that I could think of that you could do, and none of them are particularly good. I don't like any of those ideas. No, oh. no, I, I kind of don't either. If we're, if we're being honest with each other. Do I ask them? Just say you're on a special diet. Prescribed by me. I'm a doctor. Oh, I'm sure that was going doctor. very well. I'm a, still a doctor. They don't know that I'm discredited. You're discredited. <laughs> he, he, whispers, he whispers that into uh, she she goes and whispers that into Monica. Says, they don't know I'm discredited. They don't need to know. I'm a doctor. Are we understood? Fair. Good. I have been trying to move for hours. I am not enjoying this airship. No, I, uh, I figured that. I, I very much figured that you would be having issues. But, uh... You're the doctor. Will you go get it for me? Sure. Um... Selene will go over to one of the guards okay. and be like, hey, can I can I talk to you for a moment? You can talk to me right here, yes. It's like, okay, cool. So, uh... I have just realized something. Uh, in order to keep Mordecai's condition at bay, he had been prescribed by myself, I am a doctor, a... Aqua sanguinara, sanguinara, shall we say? 
Are are you trying to be coy or are you? No, that's just the technical name for blood. Do, okay. Do you have any animal blood lying around here on the ship? I can ask Commander Willie. Okay, you 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 go do that. Very well. Prisoner Sawin, please return to your others. She'll do that. It's like, I, I, I imagine she, she'll internally, she'll internally think. Um, she kind of just thinks that, uh, in, in, in her head that, uh, wow, that's really not something you should say to... You know, a perceived guest calling the mayor, calling the prisoners was probably not the best idea. Uh, and I love how everyone in chat suggesting, oh, why don't you just give him some of yours? He's like, because that is weird. <laughs> that would be weird and uncomfortable for both Celine and Mordecai. Very true. Especially since, you know, she kind of just confessed everything. Yeah, there, there was a confession of liking. Uh, Selter, uh, what are you, what are you thinking or doing here? Well, darling, as far as what I'm thinking about, I'm thinking over all the wonderful little tidbits I've seen of this ship. Primarily things such as ropes that are hang in this wonderful contraption afloat. Mm -hmm. uh, how easy that particular thing's pierce. Guard patrols and positioning. Mm -hmm. um, also keeping an ear out to the, the crew. This overhearing conversations. In my silent state it actually becomes more difficult to listen in on things as most people end up just assuming that I'm not paying attention ain't that right near Muffin Top the silly just shit it's like <laughs> what is your fascination with giving people nicknames That's I'll tell you when question. I get back um at this point the biggest thing is is I'm near near at this point, I'm wishing to end up uh, seeking an audience with this Commander Lily on a more to one to one situation. But um, primarily, I'm doing so with the trying to ascertain as to why they're traveling in the desert. You see, this seems to be relatively aimless, and you do not bring an entire army to come and find a few wayward travelers you do not this may be calling itself a scout party but it's far too many people far too many logistics in the way it slows down what it could easily be accomplished by a handful of individuals so i only have to presume that is a bold-faced lie as to what they actually are None of it makes sense. The overall goal is to figure out what the hell their part in this little game is, and hopefully end up seeing if that might end up leading us a little closer to getting here yeah, back to where we belong. And if we can't end up getting there, well... I'm afraid that I'm going to have to be a little bit more forceful. It just makes me a quiver with excitement. <laughs> you are contemplating, and as you do, the boat begins to quiver and shift as uh, as these sort of uh, vibrating drums uh, that are a part of its mechanisms kind of and the boat begins to have a, uh, a slow descent down to the desert floor. 
I'm hanging on to the railing for dear life. <laughs> this is probably the most scared that you've ever seen Mordecai ever be. <sighs> to be fair, as far as I'm concerned, this may be his natural state. Silly just pets Mordecai on the shoulder. I don't like heights. I don't like heights. I don't like heights. Yes, we are. I'm well aware. Well, fortunately, uh, the ship descends in a controlled manner until it sets back down onto the sunset-colored sands of the Aslandian Desert. And it, uh, it sets a little ways off from the desert camp that was being set up prior. Um, the three of you are approached by, uh, by guards or just other deckhands or officers, uh, but you don't see Commander, uh, Commander Willie. Um, if, uh, she's still aboard, then she's either still aboard or she's, uh, discreetly made her way off, but she hasn't shown back up since the original interrogation, uh, earlier that day in the afternoon sun. Now, one of the... One of the guards did, in fact, go to ask the captain. So while we may not have seen Captain Lily, we have, in fact, seen her general direction. Yes, there there is a door that would go below decks, and that's where he went. Hmm, fascinating. You were kept. Uh, you were kept on the top deck, uh, in plain sight. Hmm. Um, so the, the machine comes to a, a halt, the, uh, these kind of, uh, devices that were helping to keep it aloft and going, uh, settle, and there's actually just a very nice silence, uh, save for the, the cooling, in fact, rapidly cooling, uh, desert winds, um, because as much, uh, you know, for folks who don't live in the desert, uh, as much as we think, oh, it, it's, it's super hot, you know, you live out in... You know, New Mexico, Arizona, or whatever. Oh, it's got to be hot all the time. It gets super cold super quickly, uh, for the same reason. Uh, and so here, the, the a spring. Mm. It's a clear sky. There's not even clouds keeping the heat in. Uh, you can see the stars uh, starting to starting to peek out as the sun is dipping below the dunes. Um, in, in its own way, Mordecai, this is a cool relief, as uh, as your body has been under this effect. Um, you know, you haven't fallen apart. You haven't turned into ash. Uh, I mean, you certainly have been throwing off this kind of light, uh, and it's it's caused a kind of a fuzzy feeling, a an odd disruption in a way. Uh, but there's not been a mechanical like you you catch you catch on fire, you turn into a pile of ash or anything. Um, and so you are led uh, you are led down a gangplank uh, to the desert sands. And not to the camp itself, but uh, at, a, at about a halfway point. And there, a, um, a, a small gathering of soldiers from the camp uh, come up and form a semicircle. And there are a uh, crew from the ship. Uh, some of them are going to the camp and passing by. Uh, but others um, are forming the other part of the circle. And uh, as you are led down towards this circle... Uh, you can see that from another direction, uh, Commander Lily uh, is approaching you. Hmm. I was told no, that you have a special oh. dietary need. Yes. And would you please, for the record, be specific about what it is that you need? I am not a doctor. I don't know the specifics. But I'm on a treatment of blood from animals to maintain my health. Ah, blood. Blood, blood, blood. Yeah. It's a whale condition that you have. Yes. Although perhaps you've noticed it's become a lot more common. I am afraid that we don't have live animals here in the desert. But I can offer you blood. From where? That would be your choice. Walk with me, Mordecai. 
and uh, she is beside you. Um, walks through the uh, through the circle of people, and so that uh, the two of you are in the middle. Um, Selter and Celine. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have some guards around you, but you are a part of this perimeter circle as well as you watch. They can come with me. They're here. In fact, I suppose if you wanted, not that it would have, uh, not that uh, you couldn't have done it otherwise. If you choose them, I won't stop you. However, I have provided for you quite in a way of blood. Take, for instance, this soldier here, and she goes over to a, another tiefling. Strapping wad. You know, his parents are farmers up north. Strong blood. I don't drink from people. Oh, you won't. You won't have to drink from them. They'll glad we donate to you, though. We have our own doctor here, ready to extract your blood. All you have to choose is your flavor. And you see this this woman here. Very smart. Read many books. Perhaps that would... Dwight your palate. Or perhaps a taste of the exotic. Maybe some dwarven blood. No. Or some... Wizard blood. What Dad, would that's a bad. You? Just, just gonna call that out. That that's a really bad idea. You have your choice, as an honored guest, amongst us, Mordecai. All of these are willing volunteers. I wouldn't have Mordecai. asked otherwise. Mm. Simply point, or ask a question. And they would be willing to donate their blood to you. Oh, God. I'm curious. Oh. Do you have a name for my disease? Yes, we do. What is it? Vampirism. How many other afflicted do you know? You're my first. But that's fine, because there will be others. <sighs> no. You're no. a very important what? person, Mordecai. What? What? No. No, 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 no. You, you, no, no, no. <laughs> mm. I have to end up asking what exactly is going to happen to him if he uh, persists to be difficult. Satiate my curiosity. Yeah, dear Lily. It's will we going to be his call. He can't not eat forever. We're offering a way out. A way to satiate his hunger. Yes, by turning the other people into vampires. I can't force him to eat. Oh, no. <laughs> Zilly, Zilly, he's just like... I refuse to train anyone. Dwayne, 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 no, you won't Dwayne their blood. They will wet their blood in a cup, and you can sip at it. No need to Dwayne. Not, not now. There's more important work to do. Oh, ain't that great? They're just being civil about it, Mordecai. We have instructions. We're following them. And I would like to think that we're being really good hosts. Uh, absolutely fabulous, given the circumstance. But I am kind of curious. And what you've implied is, is that you've, well, 
your ethnic this is more of a on command from your superior officer, for lack of a better term. That would be correct, yes. So if that is the case he seems to favor people of this particular condition or her. They are very important people, yes. Very important. Hmm. And what do you suppose would happen? I'm kind of curious. If anything were to go right, that someone with such pedigree as Mordecai were to uh, meet an unfortunate end, it my dearest companion. A great loss. Mm. And I imagine it would not end well for you in that same regard, would it? It really depends on the circumstances. Selter. <laughs> Remember, she enunciates your name. Oh, she's so kind. <sighs> Well, if that is the case, and it is in Mordecai's best interest to feed, I am, but well, I have no compulsions on saying that he should not. I'm of a very different scale, as it were. That being said, Mordecai, she is right about one thing. Sorry. It's your choice. Selter, Until are you volunteering your blood? <laughs> Please, darling, my blood is too good for him. But you've already ended up having so many wonderful specimens here. I've had more than a few myself. But Selter. You have something to say, sugar pie. Shut up. She immediately steps right to him in the most hostile way possible. Stop her! And soldiers are going to uh, converge on you, uh, Selter, to you know grab you by your arms and. Uh, they can try, but I believe that I'm closer to Mordecai than they are. Uh, they're in the middle of a circle. I mean, it's like I don't know. 50 feet in diameter. Like, it's kind of a big circle. There's a lot of... Oh, I'm not saying that they won't get to me. Not at all. Okay. She uh, steps up and makes it very clear uh, to Mordecai. You will find it right now. You are on the precipice of something great. And what you do perpetually is to wine without solution. And our dearest host has ended up offering something to satiate with no lives lost and those who are willing to give. You have I the opportunity with people. Need. You say you don't want, don't need. Don't need. Take one look at yourself. Don't I need. don't need you to make this harder on me. Harder? Honey, if I wanted to, I'd snap one of the necks and say, there you go. Uh, a you couple of the burly boys are, are on you, Selter, and they're sort of, they're like, they're, they're dragging you, like, through, like, through the sand, away from Mordecai. Oh, I'm got And right there, I got exactly what I want. Warmth, fantastic warmth, cold-blooded animal. <laughs> um, and she doesn't even fight it; she just cuddles to them. <laughs> Mordecai, please pick. I'd hate to think that someone as strong as you should go hungry when you have your choice. Celine, what do you think? I'm at your guidance, you know that. Okay. 
come here. And they do. He's like. This. Just know that this. Doesn't. Sit well with me. At all. I know. If there was another option. There isn't another. There isn't another option. There's only. A, there's only an option that denies someone what they want. She's going to turn to one of the turn to one of the guards and be like, "I have the perfect solution." I'm all ears. Um, she turns to one of the guys and goes, Could I borrow your dagger for just a moment, good sir? Uh, Commander Lily, uh, I'm afraid that we cannot give you a weapon. However, we have a staff doctor. If you wish to have perhaps a donation offered from yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, come on, you were thinking it. <laughs> no, you were thinking it. The lead, is, the, lead is, the lead is not that silly. Um, oh, come on, you've been threatening it the whole game. Yeah, stop here, 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 dancing around it. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Celine would not do that. It's like. At least this way you're not going to infect anyone. Take me to the doctor. The doctor is right here. Mordecai, do you choose... Uh, uh, well, she'll actually try and pronounce your name. Celine. With a, a, a hard uh, enunciated L. Do you wish to, uh, to drink from Celine? We can extract her blood. Fine. Sawin, you offer That's willingly? I do. Okay. Uh, so, Mordecai, you're in the middle of this circle. Uh, Celine is brought forward, and uh, Commander Lily and the Doctor uh, come out. And with a... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, there's a, <laughs> a roll twenty. <laughs> um, sorry, back in the zone here. Um, the doctor comes out, uh, tells you that you're going to feel a little pinch, uh, and of course, that's what they tell you to say to all your patients. Uh, Celine, you probably had to say that to a couple people before. Celine's like, I'm a doctor myself. Just get it over with. Um, and, uh, he withdraws a, uh, a rather long, uh, like a pithing needle and, uh, asks you to, uh, to produce your arm as he, uh, puts a strap around it. And... In the meantime, I'm looking around in the desert. Is there any animal in sight? No. It is sand and maybe, like, a tumbleweed. And the only people that you see are those who are here or you are, are distant in the camp. At least I know this flavor. Uh, Celine, it, it is done very expertly. I mean, a little bit of pain. We're not talking about modern, you know, modern phlo phlebotomy here. Um, but uh, yeah. your blood is, uh, you know, your arm is punctured and uh, your blood flows down into... Uh, a device that the doctor produces, uh, which looks like a, a rather old and, and decorated uh, chalice. Um, it just has an antiquity to it uh, that is, I mean, it could be new, it could just be a local 
local design, but there's just there's something old about it, and it has you know rubies and onyx in it. It maintains the the black and red pattern. And uh, your blood flows into the chalice, and the doctor uh, tells you that uh, that's enough, and he bandages your arm and doesn't roll a three on a medical check uh, in order to do so. <laughs> and uh, Mordecai, the doctor, takes this chalice, this uh, gem-studded chalice, over to you. And Mordecai, you've you've tasted this nectar before, uh, but you have uh, you have a nice a nice cup full. Uh, I mean, we're, we're probably talking like a standard blood donation, at least a pint, maybe a little bit more. Uh, Celine, you're actually, uh, you're given some water and, uh, I mean, maybe not a cookie, but you're given some food also. Chalice is handed to you. I am going to down it as quickly as possible to get this over with. Okay. Um, so you tip your head back and uh, drink down Celine's blood? Yep. Okay. Big gulps. Big gulps. And, and even if you didn't mean to, once it hits your lips, Mordecai, this, you haven't, you haven't experienced something like this since the tree. Um, now, the tree is still more intense, if only, if only a little bit. So nothing has beaten that experience so far. But Celine's uh, sweet, sweet blood, this, this mix of, uh, this mix of bloodlines, of human, of elf, her her own experiences uh, being uh, a learned physician, um, the, this essence of who Celine is that has now been uh, spilled into a cup and shared with you. It makes the, the pain and the frustration of this survival go away. And it, it brings you a peace and a calm like you're sipping on a warm mug of cocoa on a cold winter inside a very, very cozy log cabin. Um... You know, this is the stuff. It, it probably even has marshmallows in it. Um, and it satiates you. And in its own way, it it doesn't just fill you, but it it bolsters you. Like, you can feel Celine coursing through your body. You can feel her as if she's there. I mean, you see her, but you're just getting this, like, a hug. You're getting motivation just in, the, in a sweet uh, liquid form. Words of encouragement, words of joy or love, words of companionship, sage advice um, that kind of go get them. You know, you, you get a good game like on the tuckus in the locker room on your way out to the field kind of a thing. All of this is empowering you and you do feel stronger Mordecai you feel supported you feel you feel the doctor holds his hand out for the chalice I hand it back Commander Lily comes to you. Mordecai, how are you feeling? Better. As I knew you would. It was very brave for Celine, she enunciates, to step forward. And I believe in, a, in her own way, she proved her love to you. Cherish that bond, Mordecai. Now, if you will, I believe that we have a camp to set for the night, and it's going to get very, very cold. Yeah. You feel very, very warm. And uh, what we'll do then is uh, we'll, 
will break at this point uh, on this first day of being in the desert in, in uh, captured control of this Shadahar Empire contingent with uh, Bright and Norali uh, down at uh, uh, down at the not the river the uh, the lake town and we'll see you again on this coming Tuesday who boy oh boy yeah Mordecai's drinking human blood well human blood <sighs> against his will yep he's not happy about it it might make him feel good and it might make him feel powerful but that's the kind of you should have more to pluck with you then you'd have your egg <laughs> <laughs> more to pluck would have got left in uh in lacuna Maybe. Should have just not gone at all. Should have just gone. Yeah, should have gone. Should have just, just stayed with Bright. <laughs> yeah, no, it would have been so much better. Bright was, was right. Bright and Norlai right. are having right. so much of a better time. They're making friends. They're saving people. They're um, talking to dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, conjuring up dogs. It's it's just a wonderful wonderful trip for them making and you guys. Dogs. Yeah. It's a wholesome time with right. them. I should have trusted Bright. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do this. So like, eh. All right, so we're we're done. Uh, lethality. You need about an hour, right? And then you're gonna be up with the gathering of nerds. Yep. What's uh What's your one shot theme this week? Um, the one shot prompt is hope, and uh, it's very it's it's gonna be uh epic level. So you guys, oh. if you guys haven't actually experienced epic level play before, you guys are gonna see some um. You guys are going to see some pretty, uh, massive, uh, stuff going on. Excellent. Then, but uh, uh, if you got a scamper, I understand we'll, we'll stick around and play some party games together. Uh, we'll play some Jackbox 3, you know, uh, and then when I see your notification on our Discord, uh, we'll come over and raid y'all. All right, sounds good. Um, I will vanish. Great game all, and I'll see you guys next week. Games, nuzzles. Yep. Good games. Later. Loop. Mordecai should have just trusted. This is awful. <laughs> it's so tense on your side. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have the feeling that you, you're you going to just get stabbed by one of your party members. I don't know. I don't know about that. I think... Well, no, just because the like the Shadowheart Empire are gonna turn him so quick, and I'm not looking forward to that. No. Uh. Yeah, no, that's why I think they're gonna like, like herself was like, oh, what's what? Well, what if something bad was happening to him? I'm gonna be like, she's gonna kill Nordica right then and there to prevent the Empire. And then Selene is, is like, oh, yep, she's gonna follow up on her promise and just stab Nordica right there. He uh, is. It might feel good bodily, but he is definitely having some moral conundrums going on. Yep, remember, Norlai is probably going to tell you if you drink too much blood, you're going to go blind. That's entirely fair. (laughs) (laughs) And... And um, since for I mentioned more to pluck, what do we have in? This is like four days travel. What's four days travel? How mm-hmm. many eggs does more to pluck have now? Oh. Yeah, assuming we keep them fresh with magic. Uh, you would have one egg. One egg. But do you have something like gentle repose to cast on it? Uh, would uh, bright. Um, prestigitation board. I mean, I can refrigerate it. Yeah. Not. It's a so very marginal preservative for 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 blood. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's an A. <laughs> I, uh, it's true. I mean, it? and she'd have to cast it like every hour. Yeah. So it would it would probably warm up during the night because if I have to wake up every like hour You'd to never get a long rest, yeah. the egg, uh, it would not not be a very good rest. So. A 
but uh, you know, we could we could pack it in ice. You know, I could I can. There's stuff we can button. do. You know, you can yeah. you can press to digitate something with with a lot of thermal mass and and get it chilled before you go to bed, and then hopefully it doesn't heat up too much. We have an iron uh, bucket with a lid. We have a. Yeah, we have. I mean. I feel like we. Could I'm not sure the refrigeration is even what it needs. Uh, so. Who knows? Hopefully, I mean it's. Every frost, so I can make ice. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there, there's stuff we can do, uh, but uh, I mean, maybe we should. I, I'm. I, I mean, I, I don't want to talk to you about it because we we haven't. Character, but I guess I I guess I can. I, I mean, I'm thinking that the egg will probably have more value, uh, in something having to do with the vampires that we are encountering. We might be able to. Um, or, or something. Uh, I was thinking you might give it to that to that woman that we apparently didn't save, but I, I guess not. I thought about giving it to her, but then she kind of ran off, and I was like, okay. And also, I didn't I didn't know if I had an egg or not. Oh. Because I, di I didn't ask about it beforehand. Uh, I'm gonna get up and take a, a little bit of a break, and I'm gonna go get uh, Jackbox Games open. Uh, so yep. I'll, I'll put the and break I'm screen up. Bed. You're gonna go to bed. Hey. All right. Yep. Slash me jumps over a fence. Good game. Yeah. <laughs> Mordecai should have trusted Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 